So hi, hello and welcome. Well, I'm right now in the sewage system, in the sewers of Paris uh, to do a little bit of microscopy there. I found this fly and I put it under the microscope and this is uh, the story of how I visited the sewers and how I caught the fly. Now, there is a nice uh, new feature that I have is, is I'm able to pause the video anytime uh, to uh, talk a little bit more, but here you can see how I'm going down into the sewers because this is also a museum. And the canalization, this is of course where the wastewater of the city of Paris is collected. And uh, they made a museum out of that, um, and at least of course of a small part. And visitors can go in there and have a look um, at the history um, of the sewage system, of the technology that they used, and so on, and many other interesting things. I considered it to be a very, uh, yeah, very interesting, um, obviously, uh, place to visit because it's uh, one of those uh, less touristy places. Um, now, I paused the video here is because you can see some street signs. Uh, I have to move my head a little bit out of the way here, okay? Um, because um, there are um, a very wide networks of canals and sewers beneath uh, the city and they run along the roads and the streets. So in other words, everything that's on the top is also replicated uh, below and that's why there are the street signs so that you know um, where you are. And this is where I um, yeah, looked around for um, a specimen to put under the microscope. Yeah, but there was not a lot to see here, lots of multimedia media presentations uh, about the history of, uh, of, uh, um, of the sewers, yeah, some information boards, very interesting. Um, yeah, I had to use Google Translate to understand a little bit of what's going on here. Well, here, uh, these, are, these pipings here, yeah, they look a little bit corroded, but um, there is not only wastewater transported in the sewers, but also drinking water and also water for cleaning the roads, for example. I can imagine that uh, there are also uh, maybe, I don't know, telephone cables maybe, or maybe also in internet cables, I don't know. In any case, there is a very wide network and I was looking around uh, for an interesting specimen and I said, well, I want to, of course, put a little bit of waste water, sewage water under the microscope. Maybe I'm able to collect uh, a small sample. Now, these spheres are used for cleaning uh, clogged sewers um, and there are also other machines there that are responsible for cleaning um, Yeah, in case their sludge blocks uh, uh, the canals. And I said, okay, now how am I supposed to collect a sample here because uh, the wastewater was running in a quite a rapid speed and it was very difficult, um, if not impossible, uh, to reach um, too far away. Um, and also I was thinking, well, mm, yeah, it's probably not the healthiest yeah, and not the nicest specimen to collect to put under the microscope. Yeah, and, yeah this is after all wastewater and lots of bacteria are in there. It smelled a little bit bad kind of very bad. <laughs> yeah. So this is uh, really not uh, something that I want to carry along home in my travel luggage and then maybe it's going to run out and uh, then, yeah, you, you know, it's it's not a nice thing. Of course, um, I already know that there are probably going to be a lot of bacteria in there, um, which are also not very interesting, but then at least I could have said I put some water off the Paris sewers under the microscope. Well, so for this reason, um, I was kind of looking around for other interesting specimens and uh, um, it was um, very difficult difficult to reach some of the parts because of security everything was kind of yeah um yeah there were fencing so that you cannot fall accidentally into the sewers yeah here i'm also showing you a little bit the ceiling so you see as i said before lots of cables and wires and, and everything but uh, no specimens really uh, to find for microscopy i was already getting a little bit frustrated a little bit worried <laughs> because um, i know that you want to see something well more or less interesting and then i looked at the wall and look yeah, I don't know. Maybe there is fungus growing on there. Maybe there are salt crystals. And I said, well, maybe I should take a small sample of the wall and to put under the microscope. But then, um, yeah, I remember the warning <laughs> of uh, one of the employees there of the museum who said, this, don't touch the walls. They are very dirty because when there is flooding, when there's too much rain, then it can be that the sewage uh, yeah, actually rises up. Everything is flooded. And so there is yeah, sewage on the wall. And they said, don't touch it. Okay, so I said, uh, I probably don't want to take um, a sample from there either. And yeah, 
a little bit of wall under the microscope also does not look very interesting. But I did see something. Um, I saw that there were many, many lamps obviously in the system down there. And there where there is light, there are insects. And indeed, I could see a lot of insects flying in the light beam. And I said, well, maybe I'm able to catch one of those insects uh, to take along as a little souvenir. But those flies are difficult to catch, obviously. <laughs> um, so I was kind of thinking, how can I do that? Well, and then I found something quite nice. Uh, yeah, I found some cobwebs, some spiders. Yeah, catching um, some flies. And I said, well, um, I don't have to do the catching if the spiders are doing the catching for me. So right now I'm trying to collect a small fly that got entangled in a spider's web. And as I tried to pick it up and uh, pick it from the spider's web, um, I realized, well, the spider uh, is still there and didn't like it at all. So the spider started to vibrate and dance back and forth, maybe to scare me away. Of course, the spider was not happy <laughs> that I was uh, taking its food away. But I did manage uh, to collect uh, this one little fly from the sewers um, in Paris. I want to also now use uh, this uh, time a little bit uh, to talk a little bit more about the sewers. I'm going to pause the video again here uh, because I did. I found some interesting statistics here. I actually made myself a little cheat sheet. The, in Paris, all of the length of all of the sewage canals are 2,400 kilometers. 2,400 kilometers. That, that's quite, uh, yeah. And the pipes um, are um, also, there are also pipes in there for drinking water. And um, they are they're basically, in one year, they have uh, to, uh, they're producing 1 billion cubic meters of water, uh, of sewage water and rainwater, which has to be cleaned. Wow, a billion cubic meters. That's a lot, yeah. Um, 1,000 workers are uh, responsible for the maintenance of uh, the system. And um, the museum has 40,000 visitors um, every year. Yeah, I was one of them. And I maybe was the first and maybe even the last one to catch a fly there to put under the microscope for YouTube. Well, uh, the fly I could take along quite easily. And uh, I'm right now back at home. And I decided, well, um, let's have a closer look at it. And this is how it looks like. Um, it was pretty dry already. Um, and I tried to pin it using a so-called so entomological needle. These are special, very thin and very sharp needles used uh, for preserving insects. But I had a real problem pinning it. Um, as a matter of fact, um, it was so brittle, the fly, that parts of it br started to break off. Um, and um, yeah, I could not manage. Uh, so I decided to put uh, the fly and the legs that it already lost uh, yeah, um, on a microscope slide. And then, um, yeah, I did some image stacking. And this is basically the fly under the microscope and honestly when you look at it yeah you can see the compound eyes you know, a little bit yeah you know, very fuzzy but I didn't like it so much yeah so um, I said okay um, I'm going to try to use my regular um, yeah compound microscope I clipped off its wings and here are the wings of the fly okay and one of the things that you see is, is that it's quite hairy yeah, those little bristles uh, they also broke off I made a permanent uh, slide here I used u pearl mounting medium um, that is uh, the mounting medium of choice um, if you want to preserve insects because um, the u pearl has a so-called a clearing action so uh, otherwise insects are very dark but if you use u pearl after a day or so um, the insect becomes more transparent and more clear yeah, here I zoomed in now more into those bristles and those tiny little hair many of which already broke off because the insect was so brittle but there are thousands of those. Yeah, I, I'm kind of um, always interested. How does this actually um, affect the aerodynamics <laughs> of the insect? Yeah, they must uh, have a certain function, obviously. Yeah, and then you can see that they're even finer here um, on the wing um, itself. Yeah, and uh, yeah, if you are a little bit more into identification of insects, uh, then maybe you can even identify this insect. But I have to tell you that um, I don't have my identification book for insects uh, right now with me. Um, I have access to one, but maybe I'm going to um, check uh, what it could be. Yeah, again, uh, the wings um, of the um, of the fly. And in just a minute or so, I'm going to show you also some of the legs uh, that broke off because I saw something quite uh, interesting there um, as well. Um, yeah, so the exoskeleton that is made of chitin, that's the outside part um, of, uh, of insects and also of, of spiders and, and arthropods in general. And uh, what you have is, is uh, inside uh, the exoskeleton, this is where you have the organs. And uh, when you essentially look into the insect, and sometimes you're able to see uh, the organs as well. Yeah, look, these are scales that are found on uh, some of the legs um, of the insect. So here it is, okay? And you can see that it's already a little bit transparent. Um, it's not completely black. 
luck and this is the action of the mounting medium uh, which has uh, kind of uh, started to clear the specimen a little bit yeah yeah at a lower magnification you see that uh, the individual joints are here and again those tiny little scales that also uh, broke off yeah i'm a little bit out of focus right now i have to refocus but there are two of those legs are on top of each other okay um, and uh, what you have is, is inside those legs is this is where you have then the muscles that are attaching to the inside of the exoskeleton and when the muscles contract uh, then of course uh, the leg is um, able to move yeah so it's uh, quite fascinating here you see again uh, some of the scales um, on the outside um, that also started to break off a little bit and on the inside uh, right next no other side over here maybe you can see this okay yeah, you can see those long things that these might be actually the muscles that attach to the inside uh, of, of the exoskeleton so uh, yeah by looking um, at it at high magnification you can actually see quite a lot of uh, interesting uh, uh, structures and features as well now what is this tube inside the leg now this is, let, let me pause the video here again this this long uh, tube um, I think that these are the so-called trachea um, so trachea um, insects do not have lungs but they have so-called a system of, of branched tubes called the trachea and this is where the oxygen is transported and I think that it must be the trachea because it has those tiny ring-like reinforcements um, and uh, yeah um, I guess it must be must be uh, part of this system yeah and yeah I'm now focusing again back and forth so you see, you just go to the sewage system, catch a fly, put it under the microscope and you're able to discover an entirely new world. So it's uh, not only the sewage system is interesting, but also the specimens that you find there. Well, um, yeah, I'm going to give now the pair of sewers um, a star rating. Um, yeah, I give it one star. Yeah. Um, I wanted to actually collect a little bit of wastewater and put it under the microscope. This would have been a little bit more characteristic and typical of, uh, of the place. But I did find a an insect uh, which uh, yeah nothing special really you can find them all over the place <laughs> but uh, nevertheless uh, um, yeah it's uh, was an inhabitant of the pear sewers so one star um, yeah um, out of three and I kind of liked the dancing spider that you see over here as well I did not want to catch the spider I did not want to kill it yeah but here yeah, wastewater yeah you don't want to you don't want to touch that it's uh, kind of very dirty well um, what i'm going to do now is i'm going to leave it at that um, i uh, hope that uh, yeah you like the video um yeah do consider subscribing it always helps the channel if you um, click the subscribe button and it also informs you then of when there, i upload a new video but uh, yeah for today i see happy microbe hunting as always and uh, see you around next time bye bye